Hi everyone. Well, this video is a beginner's guide to how you start and install new tools. Now the first thing you do is you open up the folder which contains all your tools. And one thing you'll notice is these mod files. Now these are plugins. You cannot, and let me repeat, you cannot directly click them and start the program. The only way you can use tools is to double click the tools.exe button. The one with the little screw here. And depending on how you have your own PC set up, it may take on different appearances and looks. But you want always want the tools.exe. It's the only way to get tools to work. And I want to repeat this again. If you click on any of these mod files, you're going to get an error message. They're plugins. They run through tools. Now for some reason, uh, Windows Vista considers these mod files as movies. Uh, these tools were created before Vista came out. So, and I don't know why Vista thinks these are, are, are movie files, but they're not. They're, they're plugins for tools. And the dot mod stands for module, and they're modules here. So, uh, double click the tools.exe, and this runs in your browser. We're actually creating a web server on your own PC, so you don't have to pay a monthly fee to use the tools. It's just a one time fee, you own them. And so, Internet Explorer will open up, and you can see the various tools listed here. And this is how you access them. Again, do not collect on them, click on them directly, open them up through tools and then through your browser. And this is the main page called the toolbox, and it will list all the tools you have installed. Also, at the bottom of any page, you can access tools from the bottom of each and every page. Now, another important thing is you cannot exit tools by clicking the browser window. This will only close the browser. Tools are still running. There's two ways. Um, you can come, scroll down at the bottom of every page and say exit. You can click the exit link and you, you will exit the tools application. Also, down here in your status bar, tools is running. You can right click and exit. That's how you exit tools. Now, one thing to notice down here is the tool status. Now, we have a program that's free called Monitors. And what Monitors does is it looks after your websites to make sure they're up and running. Just enter the URL uh, of your server or if you have a reseller account, uh, the main account and add it and monitors will make sure that it's up and if it's down this will turn red and this will turn red and you also have a siren sound that you can turn on and off and, and again the most important thing for your business is that your websites are up and running this is just basic stuff so go ahead and get monitors turned on that's not an option and uh, every time you start tools it'll keep track of, of your if your site's up or not. You'd be surprised how often your site goes down unless you're monitoring it constantly. Now the next thing you may have limited versions LTD versions of tools. Now to upgrade is really simple. Okay, Here's your tools folder and let's say you downloaded uh, you know the full versions of tools. They'll look something like this. You just click and you drag them to the folder that contains your tools.exe. Just make sure that these are in the same folder. You should see other files that look similar, you know, but just put them in the same folder as tools. Now, you can't access the new tools uh, that you just installed until you must exit and restart tools. Again, exit, you have to click here or come down here and right click exit I've just exited tools then I then I come over to my tools uh, folder and I restart it and I come to the monitor and, and tools will be restarted and what I want to make sure Okay, tools hasn't quite restarted. You might get this error. Here it comes now. Here it comes. So don't worry. Give give tools a, a few seconds to start. 
Now, before you see your new tools listed here, it's just like a web page. You might have to refresh the, you know, the page once or twice and then to see your tools show up here. And again, this is a web server running on your own computer. You don't technically need to be connected to the internet to use a lot of these tools. Other tools like Fat Search or, or the RSS uh, aggregator, which we call the news tool, of course you need to be connected to get, to get a um, of course, you need to be connected to, to go out and gather information like that, but but from many of these tools, you don't need to be connected at all. This again, these are actually a web server running on your own PC, and that does it for this uh, uh, tutorial. Hope to see you next time. Bye.